This infrared effect has been really quite popular in the last few years and it is actually quite simple. It is just a gradient map. Well, what is a gradient map you ask? Well, it maps certain lightness values to certain colors, which in layman's terms means if you have a black and white gradient, each section is a different color. Well, that's basically just like false color on your camera or on your monitor. Luckily, DaVinci Resolve has a false color effect built in and also it has an infrared preset. However, if you want to see what we're doing on set, this is unusable and not exportable as a lot. Okay, now we're gonna make a gradient map manually. It's quite easy and you do it like this through a keyer. You start with a color space transform and then with a keyer, you separate the image into high, mid, mid two and lows. To each of those values, you create an offset color, whatever you want. And then you export it by right clicking the clip and choosing a cubelot with the resolution you need. And if you don't want to be doing this all manually, I want to save some time and support the channel. Uh, the download will be available in the description on my Patreon. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Now we can put it in the camera via an external monitor or my camera allows me to put it in internally, which is great. And then to see what we're doing, I can just adjust the ISO so I get the hot places hot and the cold places cold. But as you can see, it does not really work if you're lit sideways. So if we put a light on top of the camera, we can actually kind of simulate depth. However, it does not work if there is a light in the background and the illusion falls apart. Hmm. But that still is not the same effect as in the music video. So what is the problem? It seems like there's some flickering going on and that when you switch it to black and white, it kind of looks like a depth map, which it turns out DaVinci Resolve Studio has a depth map plugin or an effect on which you can just slap on the false color IR preset and it pretty much looks like the same thing. The one thing that I found is that if you slap on the original footage with color burn blending mode on top of it, it adds a little bit of detail back to the footage. But you cannot export this as a lot back into your camera. So I still think the second technique that I've shown <laughs> is still valid because you can visualize what it's going to look like, but then use this third technique for it to actually look good. Okay, now let's have a look. How does it compare to a real IR camera, meaning a phone accessory that for an IR camera is actually relatively cheap. The results are quite different. For example, my glasses reflect IR or my hair insulates. So it is not really the effect you would expect. IR cameras are not common knowledge. The look of them is not something that people come in contact with every day. So this effect will pass. Okay, so we got a fake IR effect but why won't we use a real IR camera? Well, for starters, the FPS and the robustness of the app sometimes drops frames, so it's really not practical. Secondly, it's a single-use device, which you'll probably just use for one music video and never use again. Thirdly, it's, it's kind of expensive, and <laughs> most of all, the resolution is about 600 on 300 pixels, so yeah, I'd rather stick to the LUT. Of course, there are some things that this slot cannot do. For example, a handprint on the wall. And things like... Okay, that was, a, that was way more work than I thought. I shot this tutorial twice already. Uh, however, if you want to support the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. 
Uh, all the information is for free. Uh, however, if you want to support me further, you can go to my Patreon where I'll be making more in-depth tutorials from actual shoots in the future and maybe having some more perks. I don't know yet. Uh, but again, you can use all this information for free. And if you want to save some time and support me, you can go to my Patreon. Okay, thanks. Bye.